Hope you're having a great day. Uh, I've been wanting to cover the essentials of getting a carp bow or a bow fishing bow set up. I'll go through some of the details of what you need and we'll get in some nice macro close-ups. So stay tuned. Okay, one of the uh, key essential ingredients of getting a good carp bow set up is a solid roller rest. As you see, as I move the arrow back and forth, you can see that that arrow is sliding on a nice smooth roller wheel right there. Now the big thing, you could use a standard rest. The only issue with the standard rest is that these bow fishing arrows we are using are typically sol solid fiberglass or solid aluminum with a with a carbon wrap. Now the next item you want to have is this is a, a an attachment point for your uh, string or your cable or your rope. This is a very nice slider system that's almost frictionless. Now an item that I think has revolutionized the sport of bow fishing is what they call a bottle retriever. And this bottle retriever is a very simple device that actually uses Here's a trigger mechanism that actually squeezes two rollers together and that creates drag on the on the string or cable or rope and as you as you pull the trigger and, and reel you can vary the tension on the cable which essentially varies the drag on, on the uh, fish that, that you've just taken. I'll get another angle so you can see the rollers closely. Okay so as the line is fed out when you shoot a shoot a fish when you squeeze the trigger this trigger right here do you see how this uh, mechanism is driving the wheel up and down? There's another wheel below that's being driven by the crank handle. And when you squeeze down, it actually causes some friction and it just reels, reels the uh, line straight in. Now the last obvious piece of the equation is the business end of the bow fishing arrow. Now this is a barbed system, it has two barbs on either side or and essentially what happens when you shoot a fish once if you get a pass through you just loosen this tip and then this barb folds forward so you can easily remove the point from the fish okay well that should about cover all the basics of getting your bow set up to do some carp fishing or some bow fishing uh, the next video I'm gonna take this bow outside we'll get a little bit of some action shots See how the line actually feeds out when you shoot the bow. So anyways, uh, hope, hope to see you guys on the waters this spring. I hope to bring some good videos of carp shooting for you. This is Archer's Paradox, signing off.